Welcome to the ultimate test of ability, skill and teamwork for the best tractor technicians in South Africa. Three teams of two will embark on a journey in the heartland of the country to prove their mettle repairing high horsepower tractors. It's all to play for in the Massey Ferguson Master Mechanic Season 2. So exciting to be here. <laughs> My name is Caleb Webster. It's a great privilege for me to be part of something this big. Ooh, they're all... Nerves and excitement all at the same time. It's not going to be easy. This is going to be a challenge. I work for my father's dealership called Be Attractors. He started the business in the 80s and also his relationship with Messi Ferguson. My dad's reaction was, yes, finally, so now you can put your knowledge to the test. Welcome to the Massey Ferguson Master Mechanic Season 2. My name is Susie and I'm going to be your guide over the next couple of days, helping you navigate through the challenges and the pitfalls that we have set for you. Today we're here at the Agco Parts Warehouse in Kempton Park, Johannesburg, for reasons that will soon be revealed. Hmm. That's right, we're gonna keep you on your toes this year. Now, Richard tells me that I'm in very rare company because the six of you represent the six best technicians in South Africa. Says funny bester, no gals, ne? Tell me, Stian, how does that feel? Quite nerve wracking. Oh, is it, eh? Yeah. <laughs> but we'll see how it goes. I've been around a tractor since I was a kid and I don't think I will ever leave the spinners. <laughs> it's what I love. Nico Ann, are you ready? I was born ready, I'm ever ready. <laughs> yeah. I'm happy to hear that because this year we are focusing on high horsepower tractors manufactured by Massey Ferguson and the technology ADCO uses to service and repair these vehicles. Richard, welcome back. Tell me, why high horsepower and technology? So last year we focused on low horsepower machines and the mechanical capabilities of the technicians. This year we're going to the other end of the scale. We're focusing not only on high horsepower, but also on the technology that we have in those machines. Now, should you prevail, you stand to win a grand prize of a hundred thousand rand, that sounds good, eh? That is not all. You also win a trip to France for a once in a lifetime opportunity to train at the Beauvais factory where our high horsepower tractors are made. As you know, the Massey Ferguson Master Mechanic is not an individual challenge. Let's get you into teams. Don't look, eh? I won't. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <what's up? laughs> Okay, so in the red team, we have Francois and Caleb. Yes, happy? Definitely. Very happy. The fact that I am an apprentice did actually worry me a bit. Can I really make it against these people knowing that they are also the best? And then in the grey team, we have Stian and Luit. Great team, happy days? Yes, yes, always. Together we will teach us, we will take names and we will show the other guys what we're worth. Then in the black team, we have Nico Ann and Jacques. How are you feeling, Jacques? Excited. We are in it to win it. Yeah. We are Strategy. in it to win it. Are you ready for your first challenge? Yes. 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 We want you to repair a MF 7700S series tractor. Ready? Go. Where's the machine? Oh, yeah, the tractor. Where, where <laughs> are they again, Richard? Just saw. Of course. They add our training facility in Kestel. Here to tell you more about it is Ryan with the tractors. Here with me are three Massey Ferguson 7700 S series tractors from the beautiful town in Bavay in Northern France. These high horsepower machines offer customers the best in digital technology at the best value for money. Each of these three tractors have identical fault codes and it will be your job to remotely diagnose these issues. And once you received your parts, you're ready to take on the rest of this challenge and join me here in Kestel. I look forward to seeing you soon in person. Goodbye for now. I hope it's becoming clear why we're here at this massive Agco Parts warehouse in Johannesburg, hundreds of kilometers away from Kestel. 
Now, like Ryan said, as technicians in your daily jobs, you know you are able to remotely diagnose what's wrong with the tractor using the massive Ferguson Connect and the Tech Connect apps. You're gonna have to use all of your experience today to figure out what is wrong with the tractor that you cannot physically see or touch. Once you've finalized your parts list, there will be a workshop assistant on hand to print out a coded parts list and a guide as to where they're situated in the warehouse. And then it's the fun part. You get to race around the warehouse looking for these parts and putting them in the trolley provided for you. I think that's gonna be my favorite part, seeing them rush around, here. Yeah? <laughs> You'll have 35 minutes to complete this challenge. And Richard will be the judge on how accurate you've been in diagnosing the correct errors. Any questions for Richard while you still have him here? Can we phone him? <laughs> <laughs> uh, unfortunately, phone a friend isn't an option. Okay. <laughs> so let's get this party started. Okay, Team Grey, Team Red, Team Black. You ready? Yes. All right, your 35 minutes starts now. Okay, cool. Now tell me, Richard, what's the first thing they need to do? So the guys will have to go into the MF Connect app. They'll have to put the VIN number in as the first job. It will then pull up any active errors that's on the machine. From there, they can start to trace down from the active error what they believe the fault will be. <laughs> Sounds hard. I work for PHPW in Wopstad, so I'm currently still an apprentice there, soon to qualify. Since I'm the apprentice there, my mentor is Mr. Luot, who is currently the workshop manager as well, so he foresees and runs everything there. And I'm really grateful because I can definitely say he's the major influence and impact that I feel that I am here today. Knowing uh, he's my trainer, so definitely he's on the level there, and I'm here, so I need to up my game. Or detected in the auto guide system, accelerated steering system. Caleb Webster is actually my apprentice. I have very much respect for the guy. When he started at us, he knew nothing, not even about spanners, not even about tractors. The amount of knowledge that he took in in the sort of man is very breathtaking. How are you supposed to know? This is the problem. There'll be four to five different faults that they'll see, and then from those four to five faults, they'll be able to look at the errors that links to those faults. Mm -hmm. Then from those errors, that'll link them into what parts they need. So we've got two engine faults and two guidance yes, faults. Yes, okay, let's do the guidance one okay, first. Okay. Our strategy was to start step by step, remain calm firstly, and try and analyze and find what the problem is. If we find the problem, it's going to be easier for us to know what to take in terms of our parts selection. Clients are on a budget and so forth, so we try to be as accurate from the start. To guide system. So how's it going, guys? There's oh. definitely a problem on the, on the auto guide. Um, system, so it's probably one of the sensors. So we probably think that it could be our uh, steering angle sensor as well. Is it just on the guidance you're finding a problem? Engine fuel problems as well, and an engine oil problem. Okay, yes. okay, but your strategy is to focus on one on and then the move one on to the other one. To the, other. to the next one, yes. yes. Good way of working around. Good luck, guys. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you. If you so, the error code with the steering mm -hmm. sensor. How's it going, guys? No, we're getting there. Roughly how many parts have you picked so far? Um, almost 25. Almost 25? Wow! No, just <laughs> the error codes could be multiple of um, items, so we think um, maybe take more than you need. And you know you have everything, you can always give back the parts you don't need. How are you both getting on? Yeah. Yes, fine, fine. Out of all those different faults you've got now, how do you narrow down? Do you narrow down or do you, do you just get all the parts? Yeah, you can narrow it down a bit, but it's better to take more parts so that you're more prepared for what, what it is. How's it going over there, Richard? No, it's interesting. Yeah. Interesting the way they're working. So we're seeing three different strategies between Team Black, between Team Grey and between Team Red. I'm a little bit concerned they may have a little bit too many parts. I think they're going to definitely fill the back of a bucky. Well, I don't know. I'd rather have more parts than no parts at all to fix the tractor in case the one. <laughs> so, I don't know, that's a good strategy for me. Yes, we can take everything in this warehouse, mm. but we've really got to narrow it down. So with those error codes, we should be able to narrow down to exactly what we need. And that's definitely less than 20 parts. So let's see what they come out with. Yeah, let's see. All right, five minutes has just flown by. You've got 30 minutes left. All you see is the time running down. <laughs> that's the big problem. Yeah, that's all sticking yet. And the password? No, 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 Yeah, on that stage, it helped a lot. If she didn't step in, I think the whole thing would have ended up worse. <coughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. 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 Thank
the moment Jock went into panic mode, try to calm him because you both need to be calm to have a clear head. 30 minutes, okay? 30 minutes is still enough. I definitely feel that our communication strategy is working well and I believe our teamwork is also at a strong level. So I think from here we can only pick it up. Now Caleb, he is one of the youngest technicians. That's right. Is that an advantage, disadvantage? What do you think? I think we'll have to see how it goes mm -hmm. because as we know, um, the younger ones are always better with the, with the technology, with the devices. Uh, ah, if I have a problem with my iPhone, I give it to my kids. <laughs> I turned 23 last month, so everywhere I go, I'm always the youngest. So it's really my age is a motivational factor to me to say that I have to push hard as hard as I can while I'm this young. I didn't think I would find myself in this career. I was studying sound engineering initially. I ended up in this because I actually realized that I had a passion for the mechanical field as well, seeing the technology that is integrated into it. I ended up at Palo World through an apprenticeship application form which I received. I must say that it was one of the best decisions of my life. I can really say that I found a family this side in Wopstad. Since I started here, Mr. Lot has been one of the best teachers I had in, in my life. He has taken me from ground zero to where I am now. I knew nothing about fixing tractors when I arrived in Wopstad, so he made the journey for me very easy and he was quite patient with me and would leave me on my own to see how I would solve problems and he would try and figure a way to accommodate my kind of thinking. The passion I can definitely say has grown. Just to hear that machine starting is an amazing experience. Being able to see your clients being happy with the work that you produced. The feeling that that gives you and the joy it gives you, it just drives you more and increases your passion and desire to work on these things more and to learn more about them. And thus I would say that I love doing this and it just keeps on growing, it doesn't stop. All right, well, you've got 21 minutes and 24 seconds left. Let's go. There they go. They're on the run. Team Grey are the first to finish their remote diagnosis. Now they need to get their parts. Hard on their heels are Team Black. I felt my heart racing when I saw there's only 20 minutes left and we still have to go and pick our parts. Can you fun? Meanwhile, Team Red are still not done. Slow and steady always wins the race. Good. Got him. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come, Stian, come. Where's your partner, yo? <laughs> hey, you're with Wickel. Partner for us. Uh, let's go over A. I've never imagined that the warehouse can be this big. We were running around like madmen, going here and going there. Richard, this is a massive warehouse. How are the teams going to navigate through it? But the map that we've given them has got all the relevant locations that it needs for the, for the parts. As you can see, each of the aisles is lettered. So, for example, we've got RE mm -hmm. for the aisle, and then as we go down, either on the levels, or multiple levels, as you can see, how many are there? Sure. What have One, we got there? Two, 15 three, levels? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. So, each of those levels will also have a different letter, and then we'll have a number as we go down through the rows. It, it should be logical. Yeah. But um, again, it's, uh, it's, it's catching that map, mm. and from the map, finding that part. On the first one location, RT. And then you in. 1520. Cheers. Or. Anna can do sorry. Can you do it here? The thing with this challenge is you have a strategy and everything, but the moment you get there, it feels like the strategy just ran out of the door. What's our team? It's quite challenging just at that moment to figure out where is what. You in, you in, you in, you in, you in. Oh, he's now for your genieker. When the pressure starts building up too much and then you start running around. Floor level, upper level. It was exciting. The adrenaline started rushing in. Time here is starting to get tight. They're really going to have to get a move on. I hope they can run fast. <laughs> Searching for the last okay. part now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eleven. One, one. You guys, I'm lekker short, ne? I'm lekker short. No. I think my counting is wrong. Luckily, Jock came to my rescue because somehow when I was up there, I still got lost. Oh, shit. New man. You in 10. 
You in 11 or 7? I like literally went blank. The yeah, map was upside down. <laughs> <laughs> Is 11? Oh, 07? Yeah. Uh, E1. One. one. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, you malanti mag shush. I have to trust Jock fully. We are here to win. And I saw that spirit. That spirit is not to lose. Let's quickly do a cost check and please make sure. Part number? 0209. Uh, uh, got him? 09. I think there's a final checklist going on now. Yeah, important. Now we need one more. And it's all if. Let's go, let's go! Team Grey has all their parts except for one, and time is ticking away. I think I'm a little bit unfit, but uh, we've, we've kept up with each, with each other. How do we only have two parts? It doesn't make sense to me, does it? What if you miss something? It's all those what if, what if, what ifs. And Sassi, we're going to rectify this. Come on, Team Black, move, done, move, done, move! Done, done, done. You're done! Well done, well, you've got 16 minutes to spare. We actually didn't know we had a good lead. It was just when we finished and we saw the time, but we finished so quickly, then we realized that okay, we've got a good lead on them. That's amazing, I can't believe that. Well done, Team Black, that is fast. <laughs> I cannot believe that. I'm not sure if I selected all the correct parts. Um, so I think that's making me a bit stressful, but I think we might lose points there. We're just finding the one coolant sensor. The last one on our list. All right, Red Team, you have 10 minutes left. Please hurry up. The challenge of the countdown and someone telling you that you only have this amount of minutes left creates a bit of pressure because you don't realize how fast the time goes by. OK, it's clear, OK? Yeah. OK, we're done. we're done with our pick list. Run, yes. please, you're making me nervous. <laughs> you only have nine minutes left. Oh my goodness, I hope they have enough time. <laughs> I was born in Port Elizabeth, stayed here, grew up here. My father also grew up in Port Elizabeth and always wanted to own a farm. And that's where his passion for tractors started. My father started the business Beer Tractors and that's actually where his love for Massey Ferguson also started. I remember from when I was little, going there and playing basically only making my hands dirty, not preparing anything. I think my father is quite proud of what I do and for me to carry on what he built up through the years. My daughter is one and a half now and I quite like seeing that she enjoys riding on a little Massey Ferguson tractor. Okay, okay. Please speed now, guys. Okay, speed, speed, speed. Okay, go, go, go. The hardest part of the challenge for us was to figure out what parts. If you're on your way with your trolley and you miss something, then that is behind you. There's, there's no chance in going back. Okay, we're yeah. going down this way. Yes, go! These guys have actually um, narrowed down to three separate part numbers. Oh, yeah? Let's That's just hope they're the right three part numbers. Never been in this warehouse before. It's actually the biggest I've seen so far, really. Gigantic. I can say the problem felt like, ah, oh, are we really gonna find those parts? That's what I was thinking. Zero to zero. Two. I was getting so frustrated, but eventually we've managed to find our final part. Everything happened so fast, you just take and you run. Running around and grabbing everything in time was for us exciting. Going with the trolley through the aisles was great fun for us. We knew we had a good chance of success when we eventually found and saw that the last aisle is on the U side. And we said, okay, this one looks easy because it's small and compact, so we'll just go upstairs and grab what we need to grab. Should have gone uh, down the slide. Done! Well. Yes! Five minutes, 33 seconds to spare. Well done! It was the best feeling, I think, knowing that we've completed the challenge and we still had some time left, it was the best. Do it twice. Caleb, you might be the youngest, but for me, you're the smartest right now. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> got him, got him, go, go, go. Oh, here they come. Come on, come on. That's the speeders that come down here. Yes. Yes, done. Well done, guys. Done. With five minutes and 22 seconds to spare. Well done, Team Gray. 
Congratulations, everyone. You just finished your first Massey Ferguson Master Mechanics Season 2 Challenge. Now to see how well you've done. How well did you use the software? Did you get all the parts you needed? All is about to be revealed. Richard, over to you. So I've evaluated all of the different actions that you've taken and worked that into some scoring. But before the scoring, so Team Grey, the use of Massey Ferguson Connect, leading you into Tech Connect to generate your parts list. I was impressed. But tell me, was one of you stronger on the tablet than the other one? Um, I had a yeah. lot of um, experience on the tablet, especially the, the, the Fuse Connect part and also the Epsilon one, because I handle most of the parts at my dealership for the, for the workshop. So I told my part, I'm, I'm strong at that point. I can take the lead and then you can just back me up. Okay. I'm just looking at the tables as well. You seem to have most parts compared to all the, the other teams. What's the strategy behind that? I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> we'll have to see on that one. Yep. Black team. Wow. I've never heard so much chatter in the challenge. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've got a little bombshell there. Yeah, you think, uh, Definitely, definitely. Tell me, what was your strategy with splitting when you went and did your parts pick? He was supposed to go fetch one part and I was supposed to go and then we just meet up and uh, <clears throat> it backfired on me. <laughs> because I couldn't find my part. <laughs> but do you think it really backfired? When you came in, you still had over 16 minutes left in the challenge. No. We were surprised <laughs> when we saw the time. <laughs> so you had loads of time to spare. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So Red Team, you took a long time on that tablet trying to work things out. Yes, our strategy was to, to try and figure out first what to do and then to search the part. So we hope it, it pays off. I think there was a time there where we were getting really concerned whether they still have enough time to collect their parts. Your how was worried. <laughs> <laughs> but you managed to run around the warehouse in like five minutes. <laughs> it was <Yeah>. stressful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Richard, I can't handle it anymore. Give me the scores, I want to know. Suspense. Yes. Too much suspense. <laughs> I was nervous when they were announcing the points. Um, Art was beating first. So, great team, I've scored you. Seven points out of 10. Not bad. Honestly speaking, I don't know what to expect. So, black team, I have scored you. Six out of 10. Well done. Jock, how do you feel about the score? Disappointed. Very much disappointed. Red team. Nervous at this stage? Where do you think you are? Somewhere between one and ten. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd like to congratulate you. At this stage in the challenge, you're ahead with a score of nine out of ten. So well done, guys. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, it actually feels like an honor. To me, uh, a privilege, really. I couldn't have done it without uh, my team member, uh, Mr. Francois. I'm actually quite shocked that uh, I uh, beat my mentor. Uh, it was really, was really a surprise to me. Um, I am happy at the same time, uh, knowing that all the knowledge he has actually taught me paid off. Now, as we look at the scoreboard, where you place will have an impact on how much time you'll have to repair your tractors in Kestel. All right, red team. You came in first place with nine points, so you will have no time penalty. What I think what we can do better tomorrow to win our challenge is to be prepared. Again, stay calm and don't get ahead of ourselves with our uh, points that we scored today. Don't let it go to our heads. The team that came in second place, great team, that is you, you will have to wait five minutes before you can start repairs. It's only two points we're behind, so that will pick up quickly. Still everything to fight for. You know, they say there's 80 minutes of rugby left. And Team Black, I'm sorry, you placed in third place. You will have to wait 10 minutes before you can start repairs. We can still win uh, this. We can most definitely still win this. <laughs> Well, now that you've got all your parts sourced, you probably want to go down to Kestel, ne? Yes. yes. Well, how about we give each team a bucky? Yes. yes. Sounds yeah. good, eh? That sounds good. All right, well, we also kitted them out with all the tools you need to repair the tractors in Kestel. All the parts you sourced today 
and a special mystery box that will stay a secret for now. Just between me and Richard. That's right. <laughs> Go home, get some rest, because tomorrow morning, bright and early, we are off to Kesto. Next time on Messi Ferguson Master Mechanic. Hey everyone, I hope you're enjoying your drive down to Kestel. But guess what? I'm phoning with a curveball. All right, see you now. Bye bye. Gentlemen, this must be the legendary Roy. Ah, oh, here they come now. I'm coming in with a vengeance. The story about the Anfang. Go fast, go fast. Almost, sir. Almost ready, almost ready, sir. If you like what you see, like and subscribe.